Hey Gemini, welcome to July. We're going to look at your main theme for the month, where to focus your energy, what your challenges are, and what you need to release. And those two things are important because we're coming into a Mercury retrograde. Um, we're going to look at money and career because on the Facebook page, um, that's what you guys voted for is most important for you or what your biggest interest is for the month of July. And then we're going to look at your love life, of course. So for single Geminis, couple Geminis, and those in undefined relationships, which could mean you are in an on-again, off-again relationship. You're in a relationship that hasn't become official yet. Um, or maybe you're in a polyamorous situation. So let's get started. Okay, so your main theme for the month, Gemini, is um, things are going to come very quickly. It's like, boom, overnight, big surprises and stuff like that. Where should you be focusing your energy? And they're saying, you already know the answer to that. And so um, for a lot of you, it's probably going to be a different type of answer, which is why they're like, you already know. But there's something that maybe you've been putting off that should be coming to the forefront. And with the main theme being something about like, oh, well, things can happen very quickly for you. I feel like if you allow yourself to really apply the focus where it needs to be, then positive things will come as a result. So, you know, maybe you filed an extension on your taxes and you're like, oh, I got until October. I'm not going to deal with it. Um, if you hurry up and you do that now, even though it doesn't make sense to do things like that in a Mercury retrograde because it had already started, it would actually be okay. It's not something new. If you apply your energy there, um, then there will be big, fast rewards for you, okay? Um, what are your challenges? And they're saying, really, the challenge is mostly going to be in this energy of like, I'm not really worried about things. And so anxiety isn't necessarily something that's going to creep up on you if that's not your natural personality type. Um, but the challenge is more just to stay in the energy of I have no fear, I'm not worried, the past doesn't necessarily mean that the future will be a certain way. They're saying you're going to get out of things what you um, put into them, you know, and it seems like a lot of signs actually have that so far uh, as a sort of theme for the month that you're going to get out of things what you put into them. So you're going to get out of your relationships what you put into it. You're going to get out of your work environment what you put into it kind of an energy. So you want to be very co um, like cognizant of the emotions and feelings and thoughts that you're having about different situations in your life because they will be very self-fulfilling prophecies, okay? Um, what is it that you need to release? And they say, uh, oh, this is so cute. They're saying any resistance to maybe sharing love. Okay, so we might not give love to certain people or situations because we're afraid that we're going to give it and not necessarily get things back in return. Or maybe we're afraid we'll be rejected. You know, maybe we don't go and approach somebody that we're interested in and compliment them because we're afraid they'll be like, why are you talking to me? Or something like that. They're saying all of these defense mechanisms, all of these fears that we have, um, we need to let go of those. They're saying that the reason why we build up defense mechanisms in the first place is to protect ourselves in certain situations from our past. But in the present and in the future, they no longer serve us or benefit us. And so we're lying to ourselves if we buy into that, if we believe that. I'm not going to open my heart up to somebody or um, really hold out a lot of faith or hope that something will go my way because maybe I'll be disappointed. But the thing is, is even though you think you're protecting yourself from disappointment, you're not really. What's going to happen is going to happen, and it might actually be something good. And But now you're preventing yourself from experiencing that. And so really, instead of what your effort is, is to decrease the pain or push it away, prevent it from happening, you're just experiencing it in advance of whatever outcome could have been. And so they're saying um, that's what we need to let go of, okay? Now, what's going on for you in money and career, they're saying um, some of you might be shifting um, the way that you're doing something, letting go of maybe a career that you really, really enjoyed, that you really liked, and moving on to a new one that you think you're going to love more. So for some of you, this could be starting your own business. Some of this, you, this could be um, changing locations or like staying in the same field, but you know, moving to a different company. For some of you, it's more about um, it's it's less about physical actual movement and more about 
um, how you feel about something. So this could be like maybe I'm in a certain career path already and now I'm going to further education to become more specialized. They're saying that the way that you feel currently about what you're doing um, maybe isn't as fulfilling as it could be. And so for most of you, it's going to be about embarking upon the search for something more and greater um, than actually taking an action step. But for some of you, this will be action steps and um, it should pay off for you. They're saying um, eliminating fears here especially will be important. So a common one is I can't go back to school or make a career change because I'm too old now. Okay, well, 10 to 15 years from now, time is going to pass regardless. So you might as well chase your dream, right? That time is going to pass no matter what. Um, so that being too old is never a thing. When I was an educator, my favorite students um, were actually women in their 50s and 60s. And the reason why is because... Um, you know, straight out of high school, you come to college, you don't take it as seriously. You don't really know what you like and what you don't like and what you value and what like a corporate workplace is really like. But women in their 50s and 60s, they are very, very driven and focused and they ask the best questions about their career path and about what they're learning because they care the most, because they know at this point in time, they have this great certainty of exactly what they want to do and how they want to succeed at it. And so um, that's just one way that we kind of lie to ourselves, but we want to eliminate those feelings, okay? Um, what's up for you guys in your love life if you're single? They're like, some of you have recently just become single. Um, and you're kind of in this mindset of like, happily ever after doesn't exist, or at least maybe it won't exist for me. And they're saying this is one of those ways that we throw up those walls that I mentioned, that we're not allowing love in. You want to be open to receive love, okay? They're saying by focusing on what didn't work, um, kind of like, you know, focusing on the sadness or even if you didn't just have a breakup, focusing on like the fact that you don't have a partner or you haven't met them yet uh, isn't really going to help you to meet the right person. They're saying that um, this month the vibe for meeting new people is, you know, perhaps you meet somebody who says they want the same things that you do. Let's say, for example, you want um, a marriage type of relationship down the road, but then you have different ideas on how that should look. Um, I want children, they don't. I want to adopt, they want to have their own personal, like, seed, you know, kind of a thing. Um, and so that might be a little bit challenging, but when you're meeting people this month, don't necessarily discount them just because of the different mindsets on how to approach something might be. Because at the end of the day, if you want the same thing, you might actually be a good match. Um, people are constantly shifting and evolving and changing. They change their opinions. They change their hairstyle. They change, you know, everything. You're a completely different person from 20 to 30 and from 30 to 40 than, you know, you thought you would be. What you thought you wanted as a child is completely different as an adult because we learn and grow. And so as you learn and grow together, if you just focus on the fact, okay, yeah, we both want a family, at some point in time, you don't have to know all of that in advance. You can kind of play it by ear and see what happens because your mindset might change or theirs might. So don't necessarily discount people straight out the gate because of that. Um, they say you might not just you might not like be feeling it, like going out and meeting new people and applying the effort this month, but somebody sh could show up for you like out of the blue and there's a lot of possibility there for a really wonderful relationship so try to be a little bit more open okay for those of you who are coupled they're saying this is not like a month where you're feeling like a real strong super um, spiritual and deep connection to your partner some of you might be um, going through breakups like and not necessarily like physically moving out and breaking up, but like kind of emotionally detaching and thinking about like, hmm, I wonder if there's something better out there for me. Um, the thing is, is it seems like there's a lot of defensiveness in the relationship for couples. And this is creating anxiety. It's maybe starting a cycle where resentment is possible. That's not the case for all Geminis, but for those of you that this resonates with, pay attention here. What they're saying is like not enough loving communication is going on in the relationship and that's what makes it feel hopeless. Excuse me. <coughs> it's like a scratch in my throat. 
um, saying like it's, which is part of the reading actually. They're saying that like what you're saying or the communication between you and your partner is abrasive. Mm. Okay. So anyway, is there anything you can do to change that? And they say, well, try to nip it in the bud because before it becomes a habit, at least your side of it. Can you control the other person? No. Um, and they're probably the one who's communicating that way more than you are. And so then at this, like, all you can do is sweep your side of the road, right? Like, they're responsible for their side. And so then you'll have to make a decision later about that. But you can lovingly let them know that you don't like the way they're speaking to you. Um, aside from that, they're like, you know, for a lot of you, it's just you're kind of like, mm, this isn't what I was hoping for or what I was expecting, and then maybe moving on. Now, for the rest of you that that doesn't resonate with in the month of July, they're saying um, they really don't have much to tell you about the relationship, um, that the focus is for couples who maybe kind of feel like it's just not working out. The rest of you, they're like, you're going to get out of it what you put into it, which is a very common theme for most of the readings this month. Um, so not much to worry about there for Gemini couples. Um, that aren't going through that. Now, for those of you in undefined relationships, they're saying this is very similar to the energy for um, singles. So some of these undefined relationships are maybe going to be ending. They're not working out. There's a lot of bickering and arguing about how to approach certain situations, um, how to get to the end result that both parties want. And so there's this like hyper focus on like the minor issues instead of looking towards the bigger greater picture and getting caught up in the details and like a lot of bickering and arguing about how and when and all that stuff they say this should balance out by the end of the month it'll balance more in your favor if you can kind of bite your tongue from time to time um but they say like there's really not much of like a spiritual lesson. There's nothing really going on here except for to teach you what it is that you really truly desire. Um, what you might have thought you wanted isn't necessarily what's going to make you happy or what makes your heart all glowy. And so we want to determine that in those relationships this month. Um, that's your July and I'll talk to you in August. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!